Hey everybody, Obando Girl here. Today I'm going to share with you some kind of one, two, three easy steps to help you get through some holidays and the stresses that come along with having families and holidays. Okay guys, so first off before we get started, today um, when we record, we actually record on Friday evenings here. Um, so today was opening day, so I am representing and supporting the Tigers. They won, and we love opening day. Shout out to the Tigers. We love the D. Woohoo! <laughs> and on to our topic. Easter is just around the corner, and everybody, Easter is a pretty big holiday. I think probably the second biggest, um, with the exception of Christmas being first. Everyone has to get their nice Easter clothes. Spring is here. Everyone's excited. The weather's going to get warm. And even if you live in Michigan, you always check in the forecast to see if it's going to snow on Easter because it has happened before. <laughs> so I decided that we're going to, I'm going to go through three things. And these things help us get through the holidays and help us kind of, maybe kind of just even the playing field a little bit. Um, and maybe they can help you get through the holidays because the holidays, they can be so stressful. And especially after a long week of work, you can even see me right now. <laughs> it's a very long week this week. Um, but sometimes the holidays add on to those things and it can make people just go like, bah, and go a little crazy. So first things first, plan, plan, plan. But this planning does not mean one person start planning all the events and activities. This means you communicating with your significant other, um, talking ahead of time. What are you guys going to do? I know for me and my husband, this kind of starts a couple weeks out. We kind of talk about it and then come back to it maybe a few days later. And then we'll talk about it again and hammer out some details, contact who we need to get a hold of, make the plans and make everything work. And when you do that, it really just, it keeps you from making commitments that weren't in your original plan. And it, that way it just, it helps. You're both on the same page and things just run a lot more smoother. So that's tip number one right there. Plan, 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 communicate, communicate, talk about it write it down. If you need to, make a calendar. I have a calendar on our fridge and everything goes on their calendar. It's dry erase and it's a beautiful thing. Everything goes up there and it makes things a lot easier. And along with your planning, if you have special places to go for these events, you know ahead of time. And ladies, you know if you have a little girl or a little boy, all the Easter outfits are sold out so quickly in the stores and definitely get picked over. So planning ahead will make sure that everybody is dressed to the T and you know what you're doing for the holiday. Here's tip number two guys, compromise, compromise, compromise. Not only with your husband or your wife, it is compromise with family. A lot of times things can get very chaotic between which side of the family do you go with? Do you go with his side of the family, do you go with your side of the family? Or do you go see people that are out of state? Families today have just gotten so big and it's so hard to stay in touch sometimes. And I know we always want to get around and see every single person on the holidays. But sometimes those things, they just, they don't happen as hard as you may try. And that's the beauty of technology. You have Skype, you have FaceTime, you have all these other ways of staying in contact with your family members. And for some people, um, many people have um, the church obligations and different activities that they're involved in. So those also run into a little bit of difficulty when coming to plan. So when you're thinking about family members and different things, think about compromising and thinking about talking and seeing what works out the best. Maybe you guys get together the day after Easter. Maybe you guys get together on Good Friday instead of Sunday. See what you can work out. And keep in mind, guys, running the kids from house to house to house 
is just going to leave you with very tired and very cranky and children that have a lot of grumpy bears going on. So it will make things much more difficult in the end. I personally recommend little transition with the children as possible. Try to keep things simple. Don't have, don't feel like you guys have to go to a fancy dinner or have to be dressed super, super nice. Maybe you're Easter. Maybe it's just a laid back lunch. Maybe you didn't feel like cooking. You order a honey baked ham. There you go. Lunch is there. <laughs> Compromise and think about what's best and think about this too. I always like this. My, always, my grandparents always say this. They're like, if you have a baby, they come to you. <laughs> Keep that in mind. You might want to make that a rule this year to help you out with your holidays. All right, last but not least, probably one of the most important things with holidays is enjoy. Enjoy being with the family. Enjoy taking that time with your children and just be happy. There are so many crazy things going on right now in our world and every minute you have with your child is so, so precious. And so just enjoy the holidays and take a moment, think about those people that, you know, maybe you haven't talked to in a while or those people or family members that need you to reach out to them. And sometimes too, don't forget, maybe extend a warm invite to somebody that needs a family, but enjoy, have fun, share the love, get a ton of Easter eggs and start some new traditions. Traditions are a wonderful thing. I know my grandpa, my papa, he always used to bring me Cadbury bunny eggs every time it got to be Easter. And that was something he always used to do, which if you've ever had a Cadbury egg, they are wonderful. <laughs> Start a small tradition with your family and take some time and just enjoy. Enjoy where you're at. Enjoy what you've been given and enjoy the blessings that God has given you. And hopefully, guys... It'll create a holiday that will be the best holiday to remember, okay? So lastly, guys, I really hope you guys all enjoy your Easter. Have a blessed and wonderful time. By the way, if you don't go to church, try it out. You might just see it's something wonderful, okay? And don't forget, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also I have other videos on YouTube, and I would love for you to check them out, okay? I'll see you guys all real soon.